Friends, this is Mike and Lightning Dragon back for another episode of We're Chemistry. We're doing the other thing in this. I will put my stage glasses on. We're going to do the other um, experiment in this kit uh, called Chemistry of Monsters from MEL Science. Um, we did the first one we did was what? Carbon snake. Carbon snake, which was fun and cool, and we made carbon snakes. If you want to see that one, you'll have to watch that video. This is, we're going to do, in this video, we're going to do... The foam eruption. Foam eruption. We we'll need a few things from here. <clears throat> right, what do we need from there? So we need the um, Erlenmeyer flask. The, the triangle one? Yep. <clears throat> there. Another disposable cup. Okay, just one. Disposable cup. Plastic tray, which is this here. Plastic we need the pocket tray. stove. Pocket stove. Go ahead and get the pocket stove out. Pocket stove. Pocket stove. We also need rubber stopper with two holes, uh, safety glasses, and smartphone stand. So here's the smartphone stand. Okay. All I have is this iPhone. A fuel and the lighter. I will grill. put my safety glasses the on. Mini grill. We need to open up the um, kit and start getting things out of it. So we'll slide the cover off. I, also, I, I saw it, that it said we needed, it said we needed a, um, a syringe. So this is the instructions for the carbon snakes. We don't need those. This is the instructions for the foam eruption. Now you can either syringe. follow the instructions here on the card which are complete, or you can um, follow the instructions on your on your iPhone. You just need to come here and open up the MEL Chemistry app, and then um, click on the experiment you want to do, and then click start the experiment. Um, big so bowl. big bowl, we have a big bowl. Big bowl. And then you just so you just scroll through. The instructions and I think it, it works in either portrait or landscape like that. So they're calling this a cone flask. Go ahead and set it back down. Flask. Um, safety glasses, plastic tray, smartphone stand, disposable, disposable cup. cup. I don't believe we're going to need this. I don't think we're going to need that. We needed this for the last experiment, but I don't think we no, need we it for didn't this need. one. So we have these little double ended spoons. Syringe. We need a wooden stick. Uh, wooden stick. Liquid soap. Where's the liquid soap? Sodium carbonate. So we have some liquid soap here. Did you get the stick? Got the stick. The stick. Um, syringe without needle. Protective gloves. We need liquid soap, sodium carbonate, anthocyanin, and citric acid. I think that's what this is. So there's this container with three um, reagents in it, and those reagents Is that all are we need from this? yep. Okay. Sodium carbonate. Um, Syringe. Anthocyanin. That a liquid. And um, citric acid. Citric acid yeah. is a granule, this and the uh, sodium carbonate is a granule, is and the anthocyanin is a granule as well. Why is this out? Do we need this? No, that's left over from the last yeah. one. Yeah. We have all the items oh, in place. Oh, we need water. I'll get my water bottle. Oh, we need water? Yeah. Okay, so uh, the instructions say, first we're going to prepare the solution of anthocyanin, a natural dye. So the next instructions are, pour one large spoonful of anthocyanin into the plastic cup. Okay. So do you want me to pour the anthocyanin into, and you hold the spoon? Yeah. These all, all come with um, childproof caps, um, but he can figure it out, so they're not eight-year-old proof. Wow, they're 40-year-old proof, though. Here we go, got it. This is uh, powder, and it's very purple. It seems like it's very purple. It's very fine powder. All right, so one large spoonful goes in the cup. Uh, moving on. 
transfer 20 milliliters of water into the plastic cup using the syringe. So it's all of it? All um, of the syringe? Well, let's look at the. Um, so this is 10, mil, 10 milliliters. Oh, okay. So the other. The other. Are there are two syringes. Okay. This. Will that syringe fit into the cup? 20 milliliters. So, yeah. No, that syringe will not fit. Hold on. Here. Hold on. So, this kit comes with this little tube. Oh, yeah, yeah. A little I piece know. of tubing. So, go ahead and watch what you're doing, and, and there you go. A little bit more. I, let's see. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay. Into the cup with it. Oh, it's very purple. It's like a berry. It's very purple. It's like a berry. Okay, I don't know if you noticed, but we are coming to you actually today from... In space. We're in outer space. Is that a comet over there? Yeah. The uh, Enterprise is parked over there. And the Millennium Falcon, of course, is how we got here in under 12 parsecs. All right, mix with wooden stick. Mm -hmm. Mix, 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 how long? It looks like, uh, let's, well, let's hold it up and see if there's any granules at the bottom. I think it's fully mixed. Okay. It's very, very purple. Very purple. Prepare the dry reagent mixture, which will act as a source of carbon, carbon dioxide. Pour one bottle of citric acid into the, into the conical flask. So the Erlenmeyer flask, we're going to pour citric acid in. So don't drop the whole bottle in there. The whole thing? Yeah. Oh, the granules are just falling in. Citric acid. Okay. Pour one bottle of sodium carbonate, Na2CO3, into the conical flask. Is that it? Yeah, that looks like it. Just mix the reagents in the conical flask. So this is why you want a Erlenmeyer flask, is that you can slosh things around in it. Usually you do this with um, uh, with liquids. But so another Meyer flask you can sl slosh things around quite a bit and they won't they won't spill at the top. Three. Alright, so we're gonna add the liquid soap which will later foam up the mixture. Okay? Okay what so that? place the conical flask in a bowl. Alright, so we're gonna move this off to the side and please do not kick that with your elbow. Alright. All right. Put this into there. So yeah, it says, can, oh, can so you do that? first step, we put this in a bowl because it's going to cause a reaction. Okay, so then we're going to put the liquid soap in with the, with the reaction mixture. Okay, I'll, I'll rip it open and then you can uh, pour it in. This might be challenging. You think you can make that into the bowl, into the flask? Probably not. You want me to do it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll get this ready if we have to pour it in. Not so liquid, is it? Well, there's just not much of it. Oh. So we've got soap. And as it hits the, the mixture of citric acid and sodium carbonate in the bottom, nothing is happening. Right? It's just kind of spreading, spreading out. out. Do we have to pour this in or something? Well, let's wait till the next instruction. Okay. All right, so there's that. We'll set that aside for now. Next one, pour the dye. Wait, this is uh, the title slide. So the next is pour the dye into the dry reagent mixture to initiate the process. Um, hey, okay. it's starting to bubble up. Is it? I think it's just starting to absorb into the... Okay, let's do it. Hold on, hold on. I want to know what's going to happen next. Watch the foam eruption, okay. So, pour the prepared contents of the plastic cup into the conical flask and wait a few seconds. Okay. There you go. Uh-oh. We have a reaction. Oh, it's kind of blue. That's super gross. It's cool. I think we're going to have to wash the last Yeah, we're going to have to wash that.
I think the blueness is because of either either because of the sodium or the acid. It looks like a slushy. It looks like a slushy. I wonder if we could speed this up by mixing it. Yeah, I think you are. What does it smell like? Uh, soap. Yeah, it smells like soap. So the mixture that comes out is like is like striped. See that? It's pretty neat. So I think it's the carbon dioxide. So it's. It's making it blue. I think. So we're gonna go ahead and read the scientific description. I'll read it here for you. Sit back. What does this foam consist of? The foam is simply a lot of carbon dioxide gas, CO2, which makes the liquid soap form bubbles. And of course, the food coloring, anthocyanin, which can be found in grape skin, and which makes the foam much more spectacular. You might also notice some particles of white solid in the foam, which I do see those, it looks like little flecks. These are small amounts of the initial powders, citric acid and sodium carbonate, which have neither reacted with one another nor dissolved in the water. But how does this foam form? As we've already figured out, the foam forms when a large amount of carbon dioxide gas bubbles vigorously um, through the liquid soap. But how does the carbon dioxide form? It's like, kind of like Kilauea, but it's not. Yeah. It's Initially, not, we mix two substances. It's like a river down the side. Citric acid. But it's not rivering anywhere else. Initially, we mix two substances, citric acid, H3C6H5O7, and sodium carbonate, Na2CO3. As solids, they don't interact with each other. They react when we add the water, the anthocyanin solution. What if you just put anthocyanin, then the citric uh -oh. acid, and then the carbon? Both citric acid and sodium carbonate split into ions in water. Citric acid yields citrate ions, C6H5O7, 3, uh, 3 minus, um, while sodium carbonate yields carbonate atoms, CO3, uh, 2 minus, so it has two negative, double negative charge, and sodium cations, Na plus. Carbonate ion, anion, an anion, of course, is a negatively charged ion, and uh, which is unstable and easily decomposes, yielding water and gaseous carbon dioxide. These processes hey, happen rather rapidly, so a lot of gas forms in a very short time, causing the foam to erupt. Don't uh, touch your face with that, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so Lightning Dragon made an observation a minute ago that I think is, is important. I don't think cameras are running anyway. You said that we didn't need the safety glasses. Is that right? And what makes you think we didn't need the safety glasses? Because nothing exploded, which I'm disappointed about. <laughs> yes, me too. But um, nothing exploded and nothing splattered on us. Um, but the safety glasses are not, we're not wearing the safety glasses because we know we're going to get stuff in our face. If that was the case, we'd be wearing a full face shield. The safety glasses are there um, in the unlikely event that you splatter something in your face. So citric acid, you probably would not want in your eyeball in salt form and sodium carbonate you wouldn't want in your eyeball in salt form and most likely anthocyanin you wouldn't want in your eyeball in any form so the safety glasses are here in case you drop something and it splatters up in your face um, in case somebody opens the door and a puff of air blows the powder into your face um, so the safety glasses are, are definitely necessary and we definitely did use the safety glasses um, and you should always, definitely always wear the safety glasses when you're working with chemicals like this. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, cool. Uh, so this was a really fun experiment. Did you like it? Yep. It was cool. And can I- Can we wash this thingy out? You, well, yeah, we can definitely wash this out. And I think- um, We'll wash the outside so I can look at it. I think there might be enough uh, to see if there's enough reagent for us to do this again. Certainly, um, we could do this with just water and not have the food coloring, and it would work just fine um, if we have enough of the reagents available to us. Right? Yeah. Okay, so the next kit that we're gonna do is... The tin kit. The tin kit. So if you're interested in seeing the tin kit, uh, be sure to subscribe or, or look for that as it comes out. 
Um, we're gonna do that next. It's gonna be a different video. Thank you very much for watching. If you thought this was interesting, um, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a like, give us a comment. If you've done a kit like this, or if you um, are interested in chemistry, uh, do check out MEL Science. Um, they sent us this kit uh, for us to make a video and see what we think, and I think it's pretty cool. We like it, right? Yep. Awesome. So we'll be coming back at you from here in outer space in just yep. a few minutes. Thank you, bye-bye. I'm gonna go throw these away if I can, can yeah. I? Thank you.